John, what's your thoughts on that game and how it all played out? Disappointed. We can all sit here and say it was a great game, which it was, but from our point of view, obviously disappointment. Is it just the little moments, the little things that cost you, that disappoint you? What's the things that sort of stick out? Uh, nothing right now because that game's a bit of a blur right now. There was just so many big plays, so uh, that would be unfair on the game and me to make pointers on particular plays, but uh, we had a very good chance to win that game. But with, as much as, as you say, disappointed, did you see a little more growth, a little more you know, strength in the way the team had a lead for so much of that against a team with one of the quality ones in the league? No, I believe in this team. So the way we played tonight, that doesn't surprise me. That's Perth Wildcats basketball. Bryce, what did you see out there? Obviously, it was a close game. It wasn't. It was just those, like Roy said, those little things that didn't go your way. What did you see out there that, that you liked from your team? Um, I think throughout the game, we played with a great pace. The energy was there pretty much the whole game. Seemed like we had control of majority of the game, but Melbourne made some pretty big plays, but uh, I guess that's a positive, I guess, if that's what you're asking for. Uh, this is a team that plays often in they do it to every team. They did it particularly to you tonight. Uh, it looked like you guys were in a flow to start the game, even against that pressure. I mean, what did, did you feel like you guys were in as good a flow as you have in this season to start this game? Yeah. Um, I mean, that's an every game thing for us. We we always see that type of pressure, but uh, the coaches put together a great game plan, and you know, for the most part, we did a pretty good job. But we didn't come up with the win, so uh, nothing else really matters. Can you describe the feeling of uh, being hounded and, and guarded by Shay Ely for 45 minutes? I get hounded by whoever I play. So um, to me, it's just another day in the office. Like he's a great defender, but that happens to me every game. Uh, what did you see out there as far as playing off that? And you know, they they overhelp on you, and you. Find your counters. You know, what were you seeing out there? <laughs> the same thing I see every game. I, I get so much attention, and you know that creates open shots for my teammates. I trust them, and I'm always going to play like that. What did you like out of Keanu in that first quarter, that first half, especially with all the attention on you? He was doing a really good job playing off you. Setting the tone. You know, setting the tone, it gave us a big spark that you know all of us could feed off of, which I felt for the most part carried over on both ends of the floor. John, um, did, uh, did Keanu hurt himself at the end, or was he just sort of a bit you know, banged up or whatever? Yeah, like Keanu plays extremely hard. Um, so the way he plays to play long, long extended minutes is tough. Um, so, but, you know, he did, he did a great job for us tonight with his energy and effort. John, was, uh, it's always, um, you know, fouls early in the game, a bit of a spanner in the works, but did you feel as though the boys worked through that well? And, uh, Jordan? Yeah, like uh, that's, I think that's something that a good team has the makeup of when one of the key contributors goes out like that, uh, someone else gets an opportunity and steps up and uh, Usher's been doing a great job last month, five weeks for us, you know, so uh, once again tonight he made some big plays to keep us in that game. John, were you happy with um, Bryson's defense, especially in that first half? Absolutely. Like, I'm glad you brought that up because everyone wants to know about what it's like to be hounded. To be hounded and still have 36, that's a hell of an effort. But then the pride he shows at the other end, like, that doesn't get talked about enough. I don't like, I don't think enough stuff is talked about our team with our individual players, if I'm being frankly honest. How tough is it to find a rest for Bryce in a, in a, in a game like that? Because I think he's, he's done 45. As, and yeah, how tough is it just one, two minutes, one minute to, to get him off there? I like winning. Bryce likes <laughs> winning. <laughs> John, you're at the start of a really condensed road trip. You got here, and then you got Cairns on Tuesday, then Adelaide in Adelaide on Thursday. Mm -hmm. Do you approach this any differently? Is that ever in the back of your mind, whether it's minutes you give guys or how you prepare the scan and things like that? How do you approach a really condensed road trip like this? The game ahead of us, that's what I worry about. Why would I worry about what's happening after tonight? 
tonight's the most important day in our season right now. That's how I approach this stuff. Now, if we get down the tr track and guys are fatigued or whatever, we have other guys ready to play. Their opportunity will come. It, Bryce. Bryce, how does your body feel after playing a 45-minute game itself? Like playing a home party, how does your body up this game? Yeah, I mean, I can't emphasize it enough. It's just another day at the office. This is an everyday thing for me. Um, I condition myself to allow my body to be able to handle this type of intensity, but um, don't matter how I feel. You know, we have to well, coming towards the latter part of the season and everything is about winning, so I'm not a moral victory person. So as much as we talk about how good we played or you know, how many minutes I got to play, none of that matters. We lost, so uh, we just got to move on to the next and you know, try to bounce back versus uh, Cairns. I think that's what we got next. John, what did you see in the first half with the, the partnership of Bryce and Keanu and them playing off each other, and especially Keanu sort of eating off the pressure that they throw on Bryce? What did you like about how they were able to play with each other? Well, like, <laughs> BC is a, a very willing passer. Keanu Pin is a very good player. So when you put him in great situations and Keanu has that aggressive mindset that he had, like, he's a very good player. And you put, I, I'm not a smart coach, but I like to have the ball in the best player's hands. Usually that works out that way. John, uh, you, you won't play them again now during the regular season. You played them the, the three times now. Once you had injuries, once they had injuries, twice <laughs> gone to overtime. Like, um, how would you sum up the difference, the, the small difference between the two teams at the moment, based on on the, on the overall three games you've had against them, given your next match against them would be during finals? The small difference is they won two of them and we won one of them. I don't care what the rest of the people think. I just care what I think, and I like my team. You look very well matched against them. Would you agree with that? Absolutely. I think we're very well matched against anyone, let alone Melbourne United. I know they just asked you about how you're feeling. You, are, you reached your left shoulder a couple of times during training this week. You reached your left shoulder again tonight. Are you, are, are you having some problems with that at the moment? I don't remember reaching for it in practice. Um, and then in the game, just got a couple knocks, set some good screens on me. But um, yeah, as always, I bounce back. I'm fine. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Real quick, Jay. What did you think about the experience playing in the open air? Anything different to you? Anything you sort of relish about it? <laughs> I've played in them. We co I got the coaching one last year in Perth. Like, it's a great thing for the league. But once the ball goes up, I'm not worried about where the roof's at.